In this short video I'm just going to explain how to add uh, or indeed remove products from my uh, GWR uh, wagons, uh, several of which I've released recently. So here we are with um, the uh, open screen for Trains in New Era and what we want to do is manage content. I've got that loaded here. So here it is, here's manage content and the wagon we're going to have a look at um, is 76268 which is one of my five plank wagons which I released only a short while ago and what I'm going to do first of all is open it up uh, I'm going to edit the I could open up the whole thing to see all the files that comprise the model but I'm just going to open up the config text file and um, because I've had a number of queries and people are somewhat reluctant to do some of these things um, so here here it is here's the details this is what actually makes the, the wagon work and um, there's a lot of product loads here and uh, to explain what the, the, the composition of the config text file is pretty straightforward you can go onto the wiki uh, online and find out the um, uh, what's required for each of these uh, categories but here we have the actual uh, file itself for the area for itself for the uh, for the wagon and here is the, the mesh table that's the, the wagon body there and that's um, its load for um, bulk load if you want to use a bulk load and um, that's the animation there and um, and the, here are the bogies and here's the actual products that you can use so the product these are the in, divided up into different product queues so there's the first queue product zero and that's allowing a whole load of uh, bulk products like coal and limestone, ironstone, um, quite a variety there and that's to prevent you loading up uh, bulk load as well as product loads and it's a product load that we're interested in and there are a number of queues here for different size products in some of them you can have four of the products um, going into four load points here within the wagon because they're quite small products and there's a list of them there and in the next product queue, product two, you can only have two and there they are there, there's one of them and in fact there's only one, uh, that's that same one there so if we say we want to um, add another product, there's a second uh, product load and I think it's none of those because that's all two so because what we're going to do is we're going to add in a product which I've yet to release um, but it's um, it's concrete pipes uh, I'm going to make a concrete pipe making works, which I've got a photograph from Aerofilms in one of the in the Aerofilms book. So I'm going to use that as a guide. And so what I'm all I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this config text file. You can see already it's showing that it's being edited with the asterisk up there. This is in Notepad. So I'm just tapping out one because I've already got zero is occupied. We we'll always start with a zero. Now tabbing across. And then I'm going to type in the ID, that's KUID, of the particular product that I wish to add to this wagon. And it is number 81073. So that's the KUID. So it becomes a um, one of the dependencies within this product. And now I want to highlight that and copy it, Control C and run down, ignore these other product queues that we're not interested in adding anything into those and then here this is the, the KUID, the could table KUID table, I never know how to pronounce that and we'll just add it on the end so we just go a couple of spaces there and then tab it out and then paste in and just remove what you don't need and there we are, and it's been added in there. And these are all the uh, dependencies that the wagon will be looking for when you load it back into, or when you load it into trains. And then we just save this file. There we are, the asterisk is gone, to show it's been saved, we'll close it. And then we're just gonna submit the edits. Hopefully it did it quite quickly, there we are. It shows it's uh, been modified. And you can see here, this is Content Manager, Content Manager Plus or whatever it's called. And this is just showing my own content, which I've got installed on my own version 
of Tame uh, as opposed to the, all of the stuff that I've got installed. So it's just my own stuff that I wanted to see. So 76268, that's the wagon we're going to have a look at. So next thing we need to do is to start the game up. And let's create a route. 76268, mustn't forget that. So we know which wagon and let's put a bit of track in. Doesn't really matter what sort of track at this stage. We're just checking out that we've added to um, that va the, that wagon uh, the additional load. So uh, what do we need now? We need standard gauge five plank. Where is it? Eight eight seven six. They you get quite a lot of them after a while. That's seven two six seven seven two six eight. There it is. So let's add that. There it is. A little five plank wagon and it's one with the um, tarpaulin bar pushed over to one side. Now if we go into edit its properties, these are all its many loads that it can take. I've tried to make these wagons as flexible as possible and so these are mutually exclusive loads so they won't, you can't pick from that and then from this and then from this. You can only have either from here or from here or from here. That's what it's set up for and it's here it is. There's a little um, screenshot showing some concrete pipe. So what we'll do, now we can only have one. That's the maximum load there. So that's what we'll choose, one. We we'll click on that. And we we'll tick there. And there they are. Some concrete pipes looking very bleached out. But that's pretty much what they look like in our wagon. So therefore, um, that's, that's showing that I've just altered the config for that wagon so that it will now take concrete pipes and as long as the load uh, will fit in the wagon okay and you need to experiment a little bit if you're not sure um, then that's fine you know you can get away with that quite uh, quite well and uh, you know it'll, it'll look fine so there we are 76268 now has concrete pipes and you can do that with any config and uh, add in uh, any, any wagon that will take loads and adjust it so that it's uh, much more flexible than just taking the handful of loads which uh, I normally allocate to these wagons just to release them to get them out there. And those, those concrete pipes will be available uh, probably by about the end of October 2019. So uh, another couple of weeks uh, after I've made this video I'm hoping to do a, a, a website update and uh, and release those concrete pipes. I've also noticed that the buffers on this end, if we look at the buffers here, there we are, they're not, they've been, there they are, I need to crack that, there we go, so I've got to upgrade that little wagon as well at some stage, but I remember to do that. So there we are, that's how you would alter the config text of a, uh, of a wagon to let it accept more loads and remember all you need to do is just open edit file edit the config file text and then submit the edits that would be highlighted or it'd be available rather and uh, so long as you get modified or whatever um, not error then um, you're okay because if you try and put in a commodity which isn't installed on your machine obviously it will have an error because it's a missing dependency so i would um, really urge you to try and customize wagons and to have a variety of loads and uh, really run the varied trains um, throughout your routes.